Hey, good afternoon everyone. Pastor Brett here. I um, had a um, a um, request for a um, little word study, a uh, little exegesis, and uh, um, uh, I was asked to uh, show my notes. So uh, I just completed this little study here. This is something that I've done um, years ago. Um, I just uh, needed to um, put some notes down uh, about it um, in my um, wide margin Bible here. So, um, right, uh, so I want to say thank you, Father, for your word. I pray that you uh, I'll strengthen us and encourage us with your word. And as we uh, look into your word, Father God, I pray that uh, um, you would show us what we uh, need to know. And uh, we'll give you thanks and praise for it. Hallelujah, in Jesus' name. So I'm here in Acts 14, verses 19 and 20. Now, there's a question here about the Apostle Paul after being stoned. Um, was he resurrected by faith um, um, through prayer? Uh, uh, and so you have to look at this, and uh, you, you have to. I made a couple of points here that I'll show you. So we'll read the text first, as it says in verse 19. All right. And there came thither certain Jews from Antioch and Iconium, who persuaded the people, and having stoned Paul, drew him out of the city, supposing he had been dead. Verse 20. Howbeit, as the disciples stood round about him, he rose up and came into the city, and the next day he was uh, he departed with Barnabas to Derby. So Paul was stoned here, not Barnabas. That was interesting to note. But um, I made two points here. Here are my notes. So Paul is stoned, then dragged out of the city, supposing that he was dead. After the disciples prayed over Paul's body, he rose up. There's two points here. One, there is no textual evidence that Paul was actually dead. Uh, the Greek um, namasantes, uh, to um, deem or disregard, to suppose a thing to be lacking. All right, so namasantes just simply uh, means that uh, uh, we're, we, we either deem this or or disregard this um, um, as, as a thing to be lacking. In other words, um, was Paul really dead? Um, and if he was really dead, then okay, we, you have uh, a point for um, prayerful resurrection here. Um, but was he really dead? There is no certainty uh, uh, to that fact. The text doesn't give us any evidence that there was he was actually dead. Um, he was supposed to have been dead. My second point here was that Paul's resurrection is presuppositional based upon the lack of evidence regarding his supposed death. So the fact that he, or the, the thought, the theological thought that Paul may have been resurrected from the dead is really only based on the, um, the supposition that he was actually dead. And so having no proof there, you can't really say for certain that Paul was resurrected. Now, I said this, did Paul actually die? If so, then he had to have been resurrected by faith through prayer. Um, this is something that you can um, discern for yourself as you do uh, exegesis, as you look at the text and dig into the text. You look at the context um, really here. And, and the, just these two verses really cover this contextually uh, because uh, this has been a question for well, you know, centuries, a um, uh, theological question that, you know, um, deserves some exegesis. Um, uh, there's not really much to go on. Uh, was Paul actually dead? 
And if he was dead, then he was most certainly resurrected through prayer. Uh, the disciples thought he was dead, enough so that they stood around him in prayer, and uh, then he rose up. You see here in verse 20, the disciples stood round about him, and he rose up, okay? So, it's because they had enough faith to believe that God would resurrect Paul um, if he were dead. Uh, the, there's a slight lean to this being um, a, a truth, that Paul was resurrected by um, prayer and faith, um, that the Lord would raise him up. Uh, but again, it's all based upon the fact uh, whether or not he was actually dead. Um, Namasantes um, gives you the um, support to say that we're really not certain because they thought he was dead. They weren't really sure whether or not he was dead. So um, I think it's an interesting study, and uh, um, thank you for uh, um, the uh, um, request uh, Judy um, requested this, and uh, so I'm thankful for the privilege of being able to do this. Uh, it's part of our um, daily um, reading, and uh, um, I came across this uh, years ago uh, in a question. Um, and uh, hey, the Lord is good. I'm thankful for His Word. I'm thankful for the privilege of being able to share His Word with you all. And I hope and pray that that was a blessing to you. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. Um, thank you again for all your prayers. And uh, let's thank the Lord for all that he has for us in his word. Hallelujah. Jesus loves you. We love you. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. In Jesus' name.